guys, welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day. It's been a really long time since I've filmed one of these, but I just recently started eating raw vegan again. And like I've said in videos in the past, like, you can throw a stone and hit any one of a hundred thousand, like, vegan What I Eat in a Days, but raw vegan What I Eat in a Days are a lot fewer and far between, so I want to provide some meal inspiration, but of course I'm not telling anybody how to eat. I also don't eat like 100% certified raw vegan. I have some substitutions here and there that are mainly for cost effectiveness. Um, I am not rich. I don't eat all organic, all certified raw, like nut and seed butters, like things like that can really build up in price and my food isn't fresh, like some of it I just buy frozen. Keep costs down, I also like plan out what I want to eat throughout the whole week so I'm buying with more intention and then by the end of the week whatever I don't use or whatever's looking on its way out I generally will juice or I will freeze. Like today you'll see I juiced yesterday, yesterday being Sunday the day that I generally assess all my food for the week uh, after I go shopping on Saturdays. I made a juice and I kept the pulp and I made some chips out of it, or I tried to, so I will be showing you those later. But for now, I just tried to show you a little bit of my morning today. Um, I woke up a little bit before 6, and then I did a CrossFit workout, and then I've been doing stuff around the house. Just kind of cleaning and watering plants and morning stuff that I do every day. And now it is about 9 o'clock and I'm gonna make some food. I also drank that big jar of water. I try to drink a jar that size of water in between each of my meals. I have a really hard time drinking the amount of water that I should. So setting it up as like a goal like that, like in between each meal, then I generally get as much water as I would like to have or at least as much as Water Llama is expecting me to drink. So I can say that I drank 24 ounces of water. <laughs> so, um, generally following a workout like I just did, I would make a protein smoothie or a protein smoothie bowl, depending on if I have to rush out the door or not. Um, today is going to be a very busy day, but I'm mostly going to be at home. Today is my day off from my day job, so as I do on all my days off, I'm going to be working very intensively at all my million other little side businesses. So, let's make a smoothie bowl. Got my own blender cup. I'm gonna put in about one and a half frozen bananas. Raw vegan protein and greens powder from Garden of Life. This is probably my favorite raw vegan protein because I like it when they don't have sugar. I'd rather them be sweetened by stevia if they're sweetened at all. And I like this one is also greens powder. Greens powder on its own is very expensive. And raw vegan protein powder is very expensive on its own as well. But I've been able to get this on a significant sale online recently. Hopefully that lasts. Also, just for my own personal fitness goals, I am adding some vegan creatine. I'm sure it is not raw, but it is vegan. I also have some powdered peanut butter. It is purely peanuts, and it kind of knocks out the taste of creatine. But you could use almond butter or something instead. Fill this up about halfway with water. <laughs> toppings, I'm putting out some frozen blueberries, and this raw granola that I made. So this is just coconut flakes, almonds, uh, da -da, cacao powder, and coconut nectar mixed together, and then spread out on, de on a dehydrator sheet and left overnight. It is still kind of wet, probably should be in there longer, but I'm gonna eat it anyway. Alright, here we go, that's meal one. See you guys at lunch's time. I think I've got some like graver vomit stuff to film and a whole bunch of food prep to do for my boyfriend and God, I have so much stuff to do today actually. Alright, see you later. I did a lot of meal prep for my boyfriend, and then I gave my cat a bath, and then I recorded two Grey Bear Bomb videos, so I've got like a little bit of makeup on my eyes, if you can see that. But I'm gonna make some food now. I drink another um, jar of water. One of the reasons I like to be raw vegan in the spring-summer rather than just 
your standard normal gluten-free vegan in the fall and winter is because of watermelons and other like seasonal fruits that are more available and cost less in the summertime. So I am going to cut up a watermelon right now and have that for lunch. But I also wanted to mention, I kind of have an idea of what I want for dinner. I'm going to make like a taco salad. So I thought that I might be a little bit extra right now and make some taco meat to go with it out of like walnuts and carrots and throw that in the dehydrator until dinner time so that it's just like extra fun for me. to a little training session that I do for my friends sometimes. I actually train three people currently. So I'm going to go do that. We're gonna do a workout together and it's gonna be fun. I have two dates and a bunch more water. dinner time finally it's about 6 30 and in the dehydrator since what was it like one something i had the carrot walnut meat drying out probably a little bit too long but that's fine and then i think i mentioned this already but yesterday i made juice and with the veggie pulp i actually mixed that with some flax and psyllium husk and laid that out to dry and i have some chips so i'm gonna make a taco salad with chips pajamas already. I am very excited to go to sleep in an hour or two, but I'm going to show you my, like, nighttime snackish thing. I always have a little something after dinner. It is just always want something at around, like, 8 or 9, and it's usually something sweet also. But I'm going to have, like, a cup of grapes. These are cotton candy grapes, and they're frozen. If you've never had frozen grapes, you're robbing yourself of a lovely experience. I'm also going to make this Tazo Passion Tea. Like, let's see, it's hibiscus, um, licorice root, orange peel, cinnamon, rose hips, lemongrass, and elderberry. I love this. And then finally, the most exciting thing. I'm gonna eat two of these. By the time this video is up, 
this recipe should already be up. So these are the Almond Joy slash Mounds um, little bites. And the outside is like coated with chocolate and it's still kind of like gooey. If I had left them in the freezer for longer then it wouldn't be like this, but coconut almond chocolatey awesomeness. So, yep, two of these. Grapes tea and that's my day today. Ooh, also... Alrighty, yeah, I'm um, gonna go lay on the couch, listen to a podcast, lay with Shelby. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, please let me know. Other than that, check out the links in the description for other social media sites, my Patreon, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Till I get up, time is barely on our side